All right. So weirdly, for chord theory, we're going to have to come back to our scales. We're going to learn a, a pattern, a formula, that will give you the notes in any scale, in any key, on any instrument. Actually, I have a separate one for the major scale. Here it is. Root, whole, whole, half. Whole, 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 half. And one for the minor scale. Root, whole, half. Whole, whole, half. Whole, whole. So using these sequences of half and whole steps, you plug in your root of any key underneath the R, and you just go a whole step or a half step, whatever it says, to get the next note. You should end with the same note you started on. So we've got a root, which is a starting place, and then a sequence of seven steps, giving us seven unique notes and ending with our root at the eighth interval. This is good for every key. All right. So now that we can find the notes in a key, I got to throw one more formula at you. Don't worry, you don't have to memorize these. I've got PDFs in the description below, so you can just download them or you can pause the video, whatever you feel like doing. You don't need to memorize these. You can look them up when you need them. All right, so I've got one that works here for every minor key and one that works for every major key. And as you can see, relative keys overlap. Not only do relative keys have all the same notes in the key, they also have the same chords. So uh, you could get the same chords in the keys of A minor and C major, but for this example, I've chosen E minor and G major. One thing you may have noticed uh, is that the minor root is always three half steps below the major root and vice versa in every key on every instrument. So anyways, we plug in our notes and we plug in our chord types. We've got major, minor, and a diminished chord. Most people ignore the diminished chord because it sounds kind of ugly, but we're essentially left with six good chords in the key, three majors and three minors. So for the key of E minor, E minor, G, A minor, B minor, C, D, we're back home. I also have this nice sheet for you to learn some chord shapes. Essentially, you find the root you need, and whether it's on the E or the A string, I have a shape here for you on this sheet. And uh, you can look at this whenever you need it, pull up the PDF or pause the video. So before moving forward with more chord theory, this is another good stopping point. We're, wanna get, we're going to want to get comfortable improvising chords, especially uh, bar chords, like using these shapes, in any key, really. So I'm going to show you what I mean in the key of E minor. We can play the chords in any order. take a lot of practice. I know this is a short video, but I'm kind of covering years of guitar uh, playing here. And believe it or not, is mostly time spent with your hands on the guitar, just practicing this stuff. If you feel good about being able to improvise chord progressions in any key, stay on time with these six chords, the three majors and the three minors in any key, I think we're probably ready for some more chords now. So let's move forward here. <laughs> 